So today we're going to talk about C. diff and what the dietitian needs to know related to C. diff. So hi everyone, my name is Kim. I am a registered dietitian nutritionist. Um, you know all the other certifications by now. And I'm also the owner of KimRoseDietitian.com. So today we're going to talk about C. diff. What can the dietitian do if their patient or their client has C. diff? So C. diff is short for Clostridium difficile, which is a bacteria that results in diarrhea and colitis and is associated with the use of antibiotics. C. diff is very common in the hospital setting as well as the long-term care setting, and it can actually impact individuals which are young and healthy and also individuals which may be older and have a weakened immune system. So the gut is filled with tons of healthy bacteria which help in the immune system and help fight off uh, infections as well as other diseases. When you are prescribed an antibiotic for an infection, not only does the bad bacteria get killed, but the good bacteria gets killed off as well. And if too much of that good bacteria is killed, then C. diff can actually multiply and replicate and cause you to get sick. So I'm not saying here, big disclaimer, I'm not saying here that you should not take antibiotics if that's what your primary care provider prescribed you. That's not what I'm saying by any means. I'm just letting you know what C. diff can do. So that moves us into what can the dietitian do? The first thing that the dietitian can do is to educate yourself. Know that C. diff is found in the environment naturally, but also know specifically related to food and nutrition, it is found in water, it is found in human as well as animal feces, and it is also found in processed meats. And it, it can be um, spread through contact. So knowing these factors, it is important for proper hand washing techniques to be enforced. And also if you are around someone that has seated, for instance, if you are in a hospital setting, making sure that you do have the um, PPEs to protect yourself as well as also spreading it to other people as well. The second thing that the dietitian needs to know is that you can use probiotics. So using probiotics along with antibiotics has um, been shown to have promising results for decreasing diarrhea that is associated with C. diff. Now I know that there's conflicting data out there that says that probiotics may not necessarily be helpful because the way that individuals define diarrhea is different. The exact strain and the exact amount have not been set in stone and various factors along those lines. And also different things such as the timing of the probiotic as well as the dosing. But one thing is for certain. Antibiotic use along with probiotic use has been shown to be promising. Foods that are fermented are foods with probiotics in them, but not all fermented foods have probiotics in them. By this I mean to be considered a probiotic, you have to have a certain amount of that good bacteria in it. So sauerkraut, kombucha, kefir, and yogurt are foods that are fermented and foods that have probiotics in them. So if you work in an acute care setting or even a long-term care setting, such as the nursing home or the hospital, you may not be able to find kombucha or kefir or sauerkraut readily. But one thing is for certain, you can find yourself some yogurt to give to that patient or client that may need it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the exact amount of yogurt needed to help fight off the diarrhea that is associated with C. diff is not setting set in stone, but one thing is certain, yogurts have probiotics. Probiotics with the use of antibiotics can help diminish diarrhea that is associated with C. diff. So guys, this was straight to the point um, if you have any questions related to foods that have probiotics in them or even uh, information on prebiotics 
that you want me to discuss or answer your questions related to, please go ahead and put them in my comment section below. As usual, remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and also share this video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.